Welcome to the Our Dad Stamps YouTube channel. My name's Pete West and like a lot of people my age, I started collecting stamps as a child, encouraged by my father who was an avid collector. 20 years ago I inherited his collection and at the same time I also inherited my wife's dad's collection. Since then I've been buying and selling stamps through my online stores at Del Camp and eBay under the name Our Dad Stamps and this has allowed me to grow the collection into what you see behind me. With these videos, I want to share some stories and information that I've learned about stamps and stamp collecting. I hope you enjoy them. And if you do, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to get regular updates on new content. And hello from our Dad Stamps podcast. Before we start today's podcast, I think it's only fair to update everybody on my ongoing problems with eBay. And I'm pleased to say that there has been a positive resolution. So I must finally give eBay some credit, although it's taken them an awful long time to get there. Eventually, after emailing the VP of eBay in America, a guy called Michael Peterson, my problem was passed over to the executive escalation specialist, a lady called Annie O'Dowd, who has written to me a couple of times now and has managed to solve the problem so that I no longer keep getting my account blocked for no apparent reason. It is being resolved as we speak, but I haven't got any problems anymore. And we have agreed uh, a compensation package as well. So it's certainly done something to restore my faith in eBay and whilst I'm not 100% committed, they will be getting some of my business now as well. So good news at last. Anyway, on to today's podcast. What I thought I'd talk about today was useful websites. When you go looking on the internet for, for information about various things connected with stamps, you're generally faced with hundreds and hundreds of websites. Some of them are very good. Some of them are quite poor. Some of them haven't been updated for several years and some of them are completely dead. So in this podcast, I'd like to just point out a few. It's by no means an exhaustive list. My plan today is really to pick out seven or eight websites that I use that I think might be useful for people. And it's a mix of basic websites for the beginner that will give you interesting articles and information. I say beginner, it's actually they're interesting articles for experienced collectors as well as new collectors, but also a few specialist websites that I found particularly useful and hopefully you will find useful too. I should say I'm only going to deal with reference websites in this podcast. Uh, I'm not including any sites for buying or selling stamps. And the two reference sites I use the most, one is Stamp World, which is an excellent online catalogue and I use it frequently to help identify stamps. And the second one is Colnect, again, an excellent online catalogue. Colnect is probably more detailed and has stamp variations and errors, so maybe a little bit more useful for some people. But I have to say I tend to stick with Stamp World, which, as I've said before, is excellent. The next one I should mention is Stanley Gibbons. For those of you in, in the UK, Stanley Gibbons is the home of stamp collecting and their website is actually an excellent website and there is loads of information on there. Some of which you would actually, you could possibly miss at first glance because it tends to focus naturally enough on, on auctions and sales, but there is a lot more information in there as well. When you go onto the Stanley Gibbons uh, homepage, there is a bunch of tabs along the top Apart from the create an account and sign up to newsletter headings, you've got a tab for their online store. As I said, they obviously focus on selling stamps and equipment, and this is where you'll find it. Lots of different categories, British, Commonwealth, uh, worldwide, uh, and also publications, albums, and accessories. Then there's the second tab is entitled collecting stamps. And this has information and articles 
that are useful for new collectors as well as more experienced collectors. There's a feature on iconic stamps. There's a feature on the one cent magenta that, as many of you will know, Stanley Gibbons own now. But there's also uh, a section on videos and I hadn't looked at this particularly before now. It's entitled Video Guides and there is a huge selection of online videos that you can watch on all sorts of subjects from a beginner's guide to collecting to how to spot forgeries to specialist guides on, for example, the, the five pound orange. So I would definitely recommend having a look at Stanley Gibbons video guides. It's a wealth of information and surprised me. The third tab on the Stanley Gibbons website is, is about publishing. And this is where you'll find um, their magazine and you can subscribe to their magazine online or the actual physical copy. You can also subscribe to digital catalogues and they do have a, a database where you can keep your own collection. And also, which I have mentioned before, but there's an archive of all of the Stanley Gibbons magazines ever published, which is an amazing resource and not overly expensive. And this is where you'll find it. The fourth tab is about their auctions, up and coming auctions and how to put your things to auction. And then the usual information about how to contact them, where to find them and a bit about their history. All in all, I would say is an excellent site and if you have never visited the Stanley Gibbons website, it's definitely worth a look. I will put links onto all these websites, but a simple Google search will find you Stanley Gibbons without any problem at all. The next couple of websites I would recommend are connected to British magazines. And the first one is called All About Stamps. And this is from the Stamp Collector magazine. The All About Stamps website Again, it's a very good website with lots of information for the beginner and for the more experienced collector. Like all these websites, there's tabs along the top with different headings. The first one starts with news, which as it says, is an update on any new things that have happened in the world of stamp collecting. And the second one is about auctions, which is not their own auctions. This is a list of all the up and coming auctions and reviews of past sales where you can find out how much certain stamps and things sold for. The next heading is called Buy and Sell, where you will find a dealer database and ad advice on buying and selling stamps, which is quite useful. It will certainly help you find dealers near you that you might want to contact. The fourth tab is about new stamps. This, is, this features new releases from around the world and details of where you can buy these stamps and, and what they're about. The next tab is entitled Stamp Guides. And this is where you can find out articles about specific stamps or stamps that have been released recently. There is a whole host of nearly 100 pages of different articles. So it's worth a look. It does tend to be more on recent stamps than, than older stamps. But uh, again, still worth a look. The next tab says store, which is where you can uh, subscribe to their magazine. And then there's some displays on amateur entries. This particular magazine encourages people to send in mini exhibits as competitions and you can get to look at people's exhibits, which is quite an interesting feature because if you've ever considered exhibiting yourself, this is a good place to start and gives you a basic idea of, of what you should be aiming for. There's another tab on start collecting, which is a whole list of articles and features on, on how to go about starting a, a stamp collection. So again, a useful piece of information. Finally, there's a list of societies. Again, useful if you want to find a society that's near where you live and maybe want to go along to join or, or to just see what's going on. As I said before, this is mainly UK based, but certainly worth a look. The next website I would recommend is from Stamp Magazine. And again, much like the Stamp Collector Magazine one, it's features stories about what's going on in the world of stamp collecting, new issues from the UK, competitions, databases for dealers and information on auctions. But it also includes a forum. Now you do need to register to use the forum, but it is quite an active forum. So if you have any questions, it's one of the ones that's worth putting something on there because you will generally get a reply. 
The next website that I would suggest is very worth a look at is called the Global Philatelic Library. This is not a website that contains a lot of articles, but it's actually a, a database of a lot of philatelic libraries and institutions where you can find research papers and information. So that if you are doing any research or if you are specialising in something particular, then there's a good chance you'll be able to find what you're after here. And it contains links to about 25 different societies or libraries. There's a link to the Royal Philatelic Society in London, the American Philatelic Research Library, the Smithsonian Libraries, the British Library, the British Postal Museum, and, and several more. So definitely worth a look and then clicking on the link to find the information you're looking for. Another excellent website, which I only found recently, is called the Museum of Philately. The Museum of Philately website contains collections from around the world with images and information about specific collections, generally specialist collections. There's the usual tabs along the top, uh, the first one being on collections. And there's almost a hundred different professional collections which have been exhibited throughout the world. And you get to see close up and read the details of some quite interesting and amazing stuff. As I said, especially if you're interested in a specialist collection, but even if you're not, I found these really interesting and well worth a read. The next tab is also on rarities. And again, there's more than a hundred different rarities and with images and details of these stamps. Generally, where they were last sold and how much they made. As I said, plus images of them, which are often difficult to find. There's also a, a tab on collectors, which gives you the biographies of some of the famous collectors. A list of expertizers, and it's a list of experts who will take a look at your stamps for a fee, obviously, and confirm whether they are genuine or forgeries. And there's also a blog about various odd articles in, in Philately. So, as I said, it's, it's a very interesting website and one I would certainly recommend having a look at. For the American listeners, there is Lynn's Stamp News, which, like the British magazine websites, contains news and articles about recent editions of uh, American stamps. They have a large collection of resources for the collector. And it's also the place to buy Scott's catalogues, uh, whether you buy the online version or the physical version. So worth a look there, certainly. And also the American Philosophic Society, Another good website, particularly if you are interested in American stamps. Lots of links to other useful websites and information. Also about up and coming events in America and throughout the world. So certainly for the American audience, that, that's one I would look at. Finally, there's a couple of specialist ones I want to talk about. As I said, this is by no means an exhaustive list of all the websites. Otherwise, it would just become a monotonous list. So I'm trying to keep it brief. But the last few are a specialist ones aimed at the British collector. And I found them very useful when I was looking through my collection. The first is the Penny Black Plating Project. This is a website whose aim is to find an image of every single position of every single plate that was ever printed. So that's all 12 plates, including plate 1A and 1B from AA up to TL on each plate. I haven't been through it completely yet. Last time I looked, they hadn't got every single image, but they'd certainly got the vast majority. So this is a very useful resource if you're trying to plate Penny Blacks, and it certainly helped me no end when I plated mine. On the subject of plating, there's also a similar thing on the Great Britain Philatelic Society's website for plating the Penny Red. Whilst this doesn't have images of every single stamp, it does have the measurements for use with the Fisher-Brown tool as an aid to identifying the stamps. So again, if you're trying to plate the penny red, this is an excellent resource and one well worth having a look at. And the final website I'm going to talk about is one about forgeries. There's a website called Stamp Forgeries of the World, which it's really useful for identifying forgeries. It is by no means comprehensive, 
but they do have hundreds of images of genuine stamps alongside known forgeries. So if you've got a stamp that you're not quite sure about, you can go on this site and compare the two. And it is really useful, easy to use, and uh, yeah, definitely worth, worth a look. As I said, it's not completely comprehensive, but it certainly has a lot of, of the well-known ones. I believe it is still being added to, and they're always after new content. So if you have a known forgery, then they could be interested in you giving them your details. Okay, well, that's my list of useful websites for stamp collecting. This is by no means a comprehensive list, but I hope for, it will be useful for you. If you are a specialist collector and collect in one particular country or one particular topic, then there are numerous uh, societies and websites for that purpose, and it would be impossible for me to list all of them. As many of you know, I'm a collector of multi stamps and I use the multi study circle for a lot of my information. But that's just one example. And as I said, there are hundreds out there. So if you have a specialist area, you just have a look and, and let us know what you think are the best ones. So thanks for listening. And I'll speak to you again in two weeks time on another edition of our Dad Stamps podcast. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and enjoyable. And if you did, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to receive regular updates on new content. You can also visit my online stores at eBay and Del Camp under the name of Our Dad Stamps, where I have over 2,000 items for sale. Please join us again in two weeks' time for another edition of Our Dad Stamps podcast.